What is up? I'm a Wanted Turtle, and today we are opening a Charizard Ultra Premium Collection box. Um, we'll have a lot to talk about this product, but uh, just real quick, while we're opening it, um, ideally I would like to have kept this sealed, but uh, this came from like a big box store and just looked a little strange. Uh, like this thing was kind of ajar, this then felt weird, this thing's kind of loose, and just the, the seal in general was very loose. And um, you know, some people mentioned on the Discord server that there have been some issues with tampering. Um, I feel like the seal looks correct. It's just really loose. I'm not sure if like this thing was just a jar for whatever reason that created a loose seal. Uh, but you know, I think the, the good news is, you know, if there was tampering, uh, big box stores will be, you know, pretty good about refunding you your money. So while I was a little bit annoyed, uh, there's a pretty simple solution here. It's just open it and um, you know, Sometimes, maybe we'll get a great pull, maybe there's no tampering, and we'll have very well-centered promos, and uh, yeah, things will just work out. But um, in worst case scenario, we get our money back, so uh, not too concerned, and uh, hey, we'll make a video out of it. Uh, so I have opened a handful of these off-camera, and um, the results have been not great pull-wise. Um, I think one of the boxes had pretty well-centered promos, I think two out of three. And then the rest were pretty bad. So yeah, this thing was definitely looser than it really should have been. And um, actually, I wonder if this is just a function of the magnet, where the magnet was created this thing to be a jar. So again, we'll, we'll take a look and see what we can get this all on camera. So the playmat is definitely in there, looks fine. But uh, what a home run product. And um, you know, I feel like for things like the Celebrations UPC, it's pretty easy to be critical of Pokemon. It's like, you know, look, there's so much demand for this. Why don't you just make more of them? And here it is. Here, you know, they did it right, and the promos are in here. So most likely this was just, just fine, no issues. Um, all the packs seem legit. So yeah, we'll just have a nice opening. And uh, actually, I do have a question. So just, you know, have you had experience at like, you know, whether it's a online vendor or a big box store with any kind of tempered product and what were your clues uh because that just it seems strange to me but i you know i can't say i have much experience with stuff like that i think um had something happened with troll and toad once that's basically it and it was resolved pretty easily all right so evolve this guys at the end vivid voltage torch i think there's a darkness ablaze oh what <laughs> wait do we have all the packs one two three four eight sixteen Wait, is this different? Is there like an extra fusion track? I could have sworn the handful of box I did open had a single darkness ablaze, which I opened first. So, um, whatever. Let, let's not harp on it too much. We'll put this order, uh, go like this, into you, into... All right, let's go like this. Evolving Skies at the end. And let's take a look at the promos. I have a scissor over here. But what a great job they have done with the release of this product. It's just like, you can just keep mashing the reprint button on this and the demand will never be satiated, never be satisfied in my opinion. So, you know, I think they did a great job. Oh my. <laughs> that one looked pretty well centered too. I don't think we did any damage. At least it's not for someone, but um, oh, okay. Uh, centering is not perfect. I feel like this margin a little bit thicker than the other one, but I feel like this is better than some of the ones I've been getting so far. This is like my, my least favorite promo, but so far this looks, ooh, eh, this one's a slightly thicker. And I think this one can be pretty egregious at times. Ooh, this one looks good. All right, so I would say um, eight out of 10 on the promos. And to be honest, it's like the, the main draw. Then we, the 16 packs are just bonus. But so as of the filming of this video, uh, you can still order it on Target and Walmart. I think I did, I would just pick up like one or two boxes a day until I hit the limit. So I hit the limit on Target. Um, I don't know what the limit is Walmart yet, but um, I'm slowing down just because these things are pretty expensive. Uh, but, you know, I, again, I think the rollout of this product was just perfect. Um, and as far as like online vendors, um, I did buy some above MSRP 
Oh, okay. So this is turning out great. You know, this is what I was saying. Like, this could be just a great result where, um, you know, you no tampering and you get some pulls as well. So we did get a trainer gallery card there. Great start to the opening. Here we got Shadow Relic, Calyrex. Uh, yeah, it's trainer gallery. So very nice. That's 18, 18 up. 30. Let's take a look at the centering. Unlikely to get this grade, although it looks really well centered. Uh, but yeah, just ton of supply, so great rollout. And um, yeah, you can still get it. I think so, a, a majority of my seal products I get from the MVP vendor. And like for these, it's like, I think for like Celebration piece, I got like one or two boxes. And this one wasn't any different, but I paid more than MSRP and then turns out I didn't need to. Uh, and I think this is the first time that I can think of where that has happened, where like the best price, they were not the best price, um, which is unusual. It's a kind of like a nice, nice accident or nice uh, exception. And I think that just, it, you know, I think the credit goes to Pokemon Company for just, you know, printing this, this product like crazy. Uh, and I do think... You know, as far as like, oh, it's going to be printed to to nothing. First off, I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. And I do, I still think that when supply runs out, whenever that may be, hopefully not for a while, that, you know, price will go up. It's like, all right, it's finally no longer available and there'll still be demand for it. Like, I just think this is, uh, the demand will never cease. Um, so, you know, if if you are able to pick up um, a box now and then and just kind of build up like a, a stack of them I think that's still viable even though for a product that's being printed like crazy all right so we did get a very nice hit in that Calrex and um, yeah if, we, if things cool off for a little bit I don't mind we're kind of uh, hoping to build up our luck for those evolving skies packs oh yeah no that's another thing the, 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 the product comes with three evolving skies so just a plus on all fronts and uh, so let me know what your experience with this product has been um, did you open it did you just keep them sealed and yeah I was especially curious about tampering like I've this one I, I had a suspicion that you know it was just the the maybe it was just where that magnet was made the seal loose and that's all it was and um, so but there have been reports of some tampered products and I don't actually don't know I, I'm, I would hope that if I were to get one, I would be able to recognize it. Um, and I think this is just the safest thing to do. Just open it and just report if there's an issue. But to be honest, I, I again, I, I would think that I would recognize it, but haven't seen it myself. All right, things have cooled down quite a bit. Moving on to Vivid Voltage. Definitely the oldest. I So there's no tampering from, from the promos. But, and like, if there was tampering, the last thing that they would do is take out the Darkness of Blaze pack, which I am 100% confident were in the other boxes. Um, but, so if that got swapped out for a Vision Strike, I'm fine with that. Voltorb, Wizmer, I think we have something here. Upside Down Zeru, <laughs> again. <laughs> Strange, but I don't think there's anything to be concerned about. Um, not that that's a good hit, but that's, I don't know, I feel like replacing <laughs> with the with a bad hit is not something that really happens or vivid voltage of all things all right brilliant stars like if if the uh evolving actually no if you're gonna swap out the packs like they would just put something else in there all right so now we're starting to get to some of the sets that definitely have cards that i'm interested in we got a trainer's gallery alcrame from brilliant stars this one actually opened a lot of Ooh, wait wait a minute Okay, I was like, right, you. <laughs> is this from the set? Um, so double hit pack and uh, very off centered here and just a regular V, but we will take it. This is starting to align with actually the first box I opened where the, the hit count was pretty high, but nothing crazy. And then after that, it was just like downhill. I think for like two boxes, all we got was like a, a radiant card, which was nothing to write home about. But yeah, it's great to um, be doing a video for you guys, an opening video for, for, it's been a while. 
and I apologize for that. But um, yeah, I'm just kind of into the singles route for some PSA stuff right now, getting stuff graded and uh, not really cracking too much sealed products uh, just because kind of like this, you know, I feel like the supply is kind of at the point where, you know, it's kind of meeting uh, market demands. I feel like there are just several exceptions like the Evolution V Max boxes, for example, uh, which you can just keep reprinting. This this product is a great example of that. And we are kind of getting to that where the printing capacity um, is quite good. All right, handful of packs left. And we still have some more PSA videos in the queue. I have still several stacks of cards I need to go over. Um, and some, uh, picked up some stuff. Um, yeah, just every once in a while just ebay you know uh ending soonest cgc and uh just you pick up um you know secret rares for like the price of grading and it's like a 9.5 you know I, I see no downside to that we got a suin zorark kind of cool pokemon i'm not sure if this is a good card now so i feel like there's you know Maybe not much upside, but I don't see any downside to that. And um, yeah, so I don't mind building out my CGC collection on the very cheap. All right, last non-evolving Skies pack with Lost Origin. You can get that. I don't know what they what people have been calling that um, that Giratina art, but it looks absolutely ridiculous. It'd be awesome to pull that. All right, so here we go to. Ooh, that much hand looks pretty good towards the close of the video. All right, Evolving Skies, this is where the home runs are made. Here we go. But yeah, happy to report, no tampering. That, or I definitely don't think there's any tampering. And uh, yeah, it was a, uh, hey, we'll just open it, no problem. Reggie Alecki. Whoa, Leafeon. Um, I think I think the first thing I caught my eye was that it was a V, and then my brain went to oh it's an evolution, but just a regular V, Leafeon. But yeah, these singles are or the the alt are just crazy. All right, two packs remaining. We are in home run territory though. Ooh, just a Ente. And final pack. Yeah, guys, as always, if you do want to support the channel, definitely like and subscribe. Tons of PSA videos to come, some mail day. And, um, you know, oh, pink or green code card. We'll try to sprinkle in an uh, opening every now and then. Oh, actually, we do have at least a V. Doesn't look like an alt arts. Into a Rayquaza. Okay, so decent hit counts. Um, nothing too crazy, although I am happy with this Calrex, uh, Trainer's Gallery. And very nice promos. I think this one is the one I'm most excited about. I just sent off stuff to get graded. I think I sent one set of promos, but I think all, at best I'll get a 9. Um, but next time they have a special... Uh, no, actually, this thing's not perfect, but it's pretty good. My guess is it would get a 9. And uh, I'm curious kind of like where prices settle for these. Um... You know, I've, like just because it's hard to get a 10, so there's gonna be a lot of nines, a lot of eights, and I'm sure it's still worth getting graded, but I don't think it'll be, you know, significantly worth more than like the single plus the grading fee. Um, but you know, there's always some value or sentimental value to just getting your own cards graded, and uh, so that's probably the rate the route will go. So, as always, guys, thanks for watching. No tampering in this video, in this box, so happy with that results. Thanks for watching. I'm Wanna Turtle, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.